Are we live? Okay. Hi, everyone! Hello! Hello, everyone! Welcome to another coding live stream. How you all doing today? Hi, Angelino. Yes. Uh, my name is Mr. Jengis. I'm from CodeSpeak Labs. Let me put that in here too. From uh, CodeSpeak Labs. From CodeSpeak Labs. Friends, today we have a really, really cool project. Uh, today's project is about Disney, specifically the Disney movie Finding Nemo. Uh, hi, Fiona. So, Fiona. Fiona. Hey, Alyssa. Welcome to the coding live streams. Yes. Uh, so, friends, to go code with me, if you want to code with me, go to uh, scratch.mit.edu. You might see a link in the chat. Uh, you can just click on that link and go to Scratch. Once you go to Scratch, uh, sign in if you can, if you have an account. And if you don't have an account, that's totally fine. You can just click Create. But if you don't have an account, your work will not be saved. You won't be able to share your work. All right, Angelino is coming in with... I'm gonna guess Korean. Angelino's already signed it. Awesome. Awesome. And yes, friends. This is being recorded. Yes, this live stream is being recorded, uh, including the chat. So you all can, including the chat. So please, please say hi to YouTube. Yes. Hi YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Owen. Welcome here. Yes, Fiona, we are famous. Uh, right now, seven people are watching this. Oh my gosh, we are so famous. Yeah. Uh, Owen, I'll let you know. Sorry, I didn't bring the money today, but I'll bring the YouTube money next time. And, and yeah, sorry, I just forgot all my checkbooks. Okay, guys, let me show you what we're exactly doing today. Today, we're making a project like this one. Let me click on a green flag. So we have a score variable, first of all. And have you guys seen Finding Nemo? Do you know, like, what? Uh, coupons. Maybe I might get you the money, uh, Owen, in Oreos. Yes. Yes, so... Not all of these are Nemo. Nemo is a clownfish with the orange stripe. So if I click on Nemo, I get a score. If I click on Nemo, I get a score. You found me. Nice. But if I click on other ones, other than Nemo, oh, I'm getting a lot of Nemos. They say, where is Nemo? And I don't get a score. Maybe we can do that so that if you like click on other fish other than Nemo, you might get minus points. And maybe we can also make it so that, hey, where's Nemo? We can make it so that the more score you have, the faster these fish are going, or it's harder to catch Nemo. So we'll get into a lot of variables and a lot of um, levels, like how to make levels in a game with this. So we'll start out simple, but we can make the game more complicated by adding levels to it. What? Yes, seven, seven people. But it's seven people and only two likes. What gives? So friends, please click on that like button below this video. And um, if you can subscribe to this channel, that would be amazing. Oh yeah, one more person liked. 
or if you want to give it a chance go along with this video first and if you like it later on you can like or subscribe okay i'm gonna get into it first by deleting this code yes i'm gonna zoom 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 a lot okay all right friends so step one is gonna be find the fish sprite yes there is a fish sprite in here somewhere i'm guessing in there if you click on this button right here you'll find the fish sprite come on oh four likes now wow incredible and friends yes yes at the end uh, nobody asked yet uh, at the end i will play a kahoot about Disney. Since we have a Disney movie here, uh, we'll go in and do a Disney Kahoot at the end. So I'm going to do the same. I'll choose a sprite and fish. Yes, this is the fish sprite. It has many costumes, many different kinds of fishies in there. One of them looks like the blue fish from Finding Nemo. Uh, who was the blue fish from Finding Nemo? Thank you, Angelino, for subscribing. Oh, five. Really? Okay. Oh, yeah, Angelino. I, I want to I wanna do an anime Kahoot, too. But I don't know enough about anime. Maybe one day I'll make an anime Kahoot. D Dora or Dory? Wait, I'm confused now. Was it Dora or Dory? A uh, blue fish from Finding Nemo? Dory! Yes, it was Dory uh, who has like a short-term memory. Yeah. I wonder, what, do you, what did you guys think about that movie? Did you guys... There was a second one, I think. I haven't seen the second one. Finding Dory was the second one, I think. Yes. All right. Once you have the fish sprite, we can get started with the code. Uh, so, friends, I'll put this up one more time in case you all didn't see it. Step one. Make a fish uh, sprite. Make a fish. You can just say fish. Sprite is what we call these characters in, in Scratch. Any kind of character that you can program it can be a food that you can program, any kind of those. Anything that you make by clicking on this button is a sprite. Okay, so first we got to make that fish. After that, let's start with the coding. All right. Can I? Boom, boom. Nice. All right. So on this one, friends. Let me change this to this. Make this 100%. Okay, okay. So on this one, we need this fish to keep on going again and again and again. But I want to make this game more and more difficult. So I want there to be many fishes, perhaps, as the game gets more difficult. So we're going to do this with a really popular, really common way of um, starting, which is... Forever create clones. Uh, where's the clone? Forever create clone of myself. And I'll put a wait one second in here. Yes, so all of these orange blocks in here are from control. So I went to control. Try to find these blocks yourself, friends. I went to control. And inside control, I have these blocks called clone blocks at the very very bottom so it says create a clone of myself is at the very very bottom that's what i put inside the forever block oh hi sienna hi sienna uh, of course no problem if you are late just fyi the step one 
was to make a fish sprite. As you can see, I made a fish sprite by clicking on this button down here. You know that button to make sprites. It's down there, you might not be able to see it, but yeah, it is down there. Right, yeah, there it is. And I added this code right here. When green flag is clicked forever, wait one second and wait one second and create a clone. Wait one second and create a clone. This is a very, very cool code, friends. Um, try this. With this code, try this. Uh, I'll make this a bit bigger. Try this. Click the green flag. Wait a few seconds. Then click the stop sign. Yes, try this out. Click the green flag and then wait a few seconds and then click the stop sign. So I click on a green flag. I wait a few seconds. And then I click on a stop sign, boom. And you'll see if you move the fish, if I move that fish now, oh no, it didn't happen. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I have to change this, actually. Don't click on the stop sign. So now, oh, I forgot about this entirely. When you click on a stop sign, it automatically deletes all the, all the clones. This is a new thing that Scratch started do, doing. So click the green flag. Wait a few seconds. And move the fish. Okay, revised instructions, click the green flag, and then wait a few seconds, and then move the fish. And you'll see that there are many, many, many fishies in there. Like, wow, there's even more. It's just, it's just even more, which is crazy. But then if you click on a stop sign, they'll all go away. Right, so something that happens, if you click on a green flag, you wait a few seconds, and then you move the fish, and you'll see that there are many, 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 many fishies in here. Oh, this is the original fish. So that's what this code does. It creates a clone of the fish every second. All right, friends, so let's decide what happens when the clone begins. So I'm going to hide the original, first of all. I'm going to hide the original. Let me make sure that I have the correct code in here. And then I'm going to decide what happens when I start as a clone. So I put that hide block in there so that the original hides at all times, but I want the clones to show. And then let's have these clones go, go to random position. Let's try that. So I added when I start as a clone, this is inside control, everyone. At the very, very bottom of control, you'll find all the clone blocks when I start as a clone create a clone of myself, and uh, delete this clone. Bigfoot, oh wow, the chat is going crazy. Okay. All right, when I start as a clone, I'm gonna make, when I start as a clone, I'm gonna make this clone show. You can find the hide and show blocks inside looks. They're together right here. I used one of them right here for show and another one right there for hide.
And when Fiona says, I am Bob, and who are you? All this time, Fiona, I've been calling you Bob. I mean, all this time, Bob, I've been calling you Fiona. All right, after this show, I'm gonna add one more block, guys. It's just go to random position. This is really cool. Click on a green flag. We've just kind of automated what happens when uh, automated the cloning and showing, moving them around. So click green flag. When you have this code, try this out. Click green flag and you'll see something really cool. You'll see a clownfish appearing randomly every single second, which is kind of cool. And Murray is here. Hi, Murray. Hey, hey. Have you guys tried this out? It's kind of cool. It's a fish showing up randomly, a clone of a fish, sorry, showing up randomly uh, around the screen. Okay, if you click on a stop sign, the fish will go. If you click on a green flag, the fish will start appearing again. Interesting. All right, but I want them to show up at the very, very left side. So let me program that in. I'll click on a stop sign. Here is the next code. There's a code called set x2. We'll start with a minus 200. Set x to minus 200 means uh, the fish will appear on the left side of the screen only. So I see the one there, one there, one there, one there, another one there. It's just random places, but on the left side of the screen. Cool. Cool. If I click on a stop sign, the clones go away. All right, next up, let me start moving this guy. Next up, we really start building the game itself. Uh, I'm gonna move this guy over here, I think. Uh, I'll move it back, all right. Let me see if I can see me. Oh, yeah, Link. Um, It might help better it might help more if you post your username in the chat. Links might be blocked, Fiona. Yeah, it's something that YouTube does. I think YouTube kind of blocks people posting links in the chat. But it might help, Mari, if you put your uh, username in the chat. And you know what? Uh, at the end of the class, Friends, we did this last week. You can give me your username and maybe I can check out a few of your projects. Uh, it's uh, Gizzy 0 and M3. Gizzy on me. Gizzy on me. All right, I'll, I'll check it out soon. Murray, actually, let me write that down, huh? As a reminder. So that I don't lose it in the chat. All right. So this next part, friends, let's do different costumes. Switch costume two. Switch costume two. Now I got a bunch of options here. I got B, I got D, I got C, I got A. These are all the different costumes in here. And in fact, if you go to the costumes tab, the costumes tab is right here. If you go to the costumes tab of this fish, you'll find that there are many different kinds of fish in here. And maybe we can change them up a little bit as well. Okay, back to the code tab. In here though, I'm gonna put a number. So you don't exactly have to put the name of the costume in here. You can actually put a number in there. And I'm gonna grab the pick random block. This is inside operators and it's a very cool block that generates random numbers. I put that inside the place where it says fish A, fish B. And I say, pick random one to four. If it picks one, then that's gonna be the first costume. If it picks two, 
that's gonna be the second. If it picks three, that's gonna be the third. If it picks four, that's gonna be the fourth. It's gonna be random each, every single time. So let's try this out. Yes, after you have this code, click on the green flag. And you'll see that this happens. I click on a green flag. This random fish keeps on showing on the left side of the screen. We got different kinds of fish, blue fish, yellow fish, clown fish. I don't know what the other types of fish in there are. Okay. All right, this code is gonna go pretty, pretty long, friends. So I'm gonna have to zoom out a little bit. I hope you all can see. Now, these fishies, they appear, okay, on the left side of the screen, but I want them to move towards the right side of the screen. So repeat until is a good block to have here. It's gonna repeat until the X is all the way to the right, for example. Uh, so, hmm, in here, there's a greater than thing. Let's grab this block. Inside operators, where we found that pick random block, there is a greater than sign. Now, the greater than sign is... Friends, look really close at this because this is a very small detail. The greater than sign looks like this. So, make sure that you pick it this one. The carrot that's pointing towards the right. So it's an empty bubble, and then there's like carrot looking thing or alligator mouth looking thing, and it's pointing towards the right. The, the large side, I guess, is where the bigger uh, thing needs to be. The small side, the corner needs to be where the smaller thing is. So we're going to check if the X position, let me actually put this again, make sure it's this. We're going to check if the X position is greater than oh this thing went is greater than um let's say 200 because if the x position is greater than 200 then that means this fish has gone all the way to the right side of the screen all right i can zoom out i think now zoom zoom and inside here i'm gonna put this move 10 steps Inside motion is the first block, this move 10 steps. Basically, we're telling the computer, we're telling the fish, keep moving until, until X position is greater than 200. Or in other words, until the fish is at the right side of the screen. That was not spelled correctly, but yes, you get the idea. Keep moving until this fish goes to the right side of the screen. So this is a good checkpoint. Click on that green flag and let's see these fishies appearing and then moving super fastly to the right side of the screen. And they just get stuck there. These fishies, they go to the right side of the screen and they just stop. That's nice. Okay. But what we can do also is delete this clone. Yeah, if you don't have this block, delete this clone. If you don't have this block, your code might start getting really glitchy. The thing is, if you don't have this delete this clone block right here, you'll have so many clones that Scratch might start crashing. So if you, yeah, if you want to crash your computer, then don't include this block. If you don't have this block, your computer might crash. And this is one way that games, oh well, games can crash. Sometimes they have so many things created in it and they forgot to code this block that says delete the clone. They have so many clones that the game starts crashing. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. 
Angelina, is everything okay? I'm not sure. All right, friends. Let me zoom out so y'all can see the code. This is what we got so far. All right. This is what I got so far. Hello. All right, now if you click on the green flag, it's kind of cool. This happens. We keep on getting this. Fishies going left and right. I know, right, Fiona? Um, let me respond to your gibberish. Super sad. <laughs> and friends, we're going to have, uh, I think, a lot of time today. The project today is not that long. Uh, unlike the other project that we did last week, last week, Catch the Dots, that took a long time. FYI, go over Jupiter Java, hover Jupiter Java. Actually, let me put these in words. Yes. I hope you guys can decode that message in the chat. No, don't even try. It's just randomness. Okay. Yay. All right. We got these fishies. I think the next part is basically to code the part where... If I click on this thing, I get a score. So for that though, I'm gonna need a score variable, yes. So on the right hand side guys, on the very, very right hand side, there is a category called, called variables. In there, click on make a variable. I'll keep this over here. Yes, make make a variable called score. Yeah, let's make a variable called score. So you can click on make a variable. <laughs> I am Bob. Uh, make a variable and I call this one score. Just like that, I'm gonna keep it for all sprites. No need to make it for this sprite only. And then click on OK. And that immediately gives me a score variable right here. So these blocks right here set my variable to zero. If I click on my variable, I can change it to score, for example. So we're, how are we gonna use these blocks, right? How are we going to use these blocks? Well, first of all, I got to zoom out, man. Okay, we're having a lot of code in here. I'm going to put these to the side. I can even put this down here. Put this one there. Maybe something like this. And inside events is a block called when this sprite is clicked. So I'll add that to my code. This code right here, friends, is still going to be in here, but I'm going to keep it over here. Oh, I forgot. Actually, let me see if I can fit everything, everything in here. Mm -hmm. that's, that's actually, that's actually nice. I think you can see everything in there. This is all the code that I have so far. All I added was when this sprite is clicked from events and also I have these variable blocks in here I clicked on make a variable and I made a variable called score okay when the green flag is clicked apart from hide we're gonna need this set my variable to set not my variable set score to zero we gotta reset the score in the beginning of the game in the beginning of the game the score needs to be zero. When is the beginning of the game? When I click on any green flag. Anytime that I click on a green flag, 
then the score should be zero. So I got that set score to zero and I can put this guy away for now. Yeah, put it down. Because I'm gonna be working a lot with this block right here. Oh, okay, Angelino. Um, all right, when this sprite is clicked, let's do something. What should we do? When this sprite is clicked, we need to check if this fish has the correct costume. If it has the correct costume, then great, you get a score. If it doesn't, then, well, maybe you lose a score. How about that? Okay, let's code that part. Inside the diamond area here, I'm going to go to operators and grab the equal sign this time. So empty bubble equals 50. This is what it says actually yeah bam 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 it's an empty bubble with an equal sign and then 50. Hmm. yeah angelina are you a robot angelino are you a robot if you are a robot you have to say that you are you have to be truthful if you are actually a robot then you have to actually say that you're a robot. Uh, let's see. Let's see what Angelino is going to say. Okay. When this sprite is clicked, we're going to need to get the number of the costume. So was it the first, second, third, or fourth? And a good thing is inside looks. This is a block that you might not have used before. Angelino said don't understand language and then gave me an error code 202 i'm not familiar with this error code 202 oh i see but that's not a error code error code 202 is a hypertext transfer protocol let me show this up actually guys Angelino just gave us an error code 202. Uh, implies that the software compatibility issue on your computer. If you're trying to launch a recently installed program that is clashing with the Windows operating system, this is a very common error. Oh, Angelino, you're running on Windows. I see, I see. I, I completely understand now. Error 606. Let's see what that is about. Um, this is a Windows update issue. All these uh, errors seem to be related to Windows. And that's why I use a Chromebook. I should get a sponsorship from Chromebook, seriously, because I use it so much. No, error code 202? All right. <laughs> yes, Mr. Balkary. Uh, but you are on Windows. Nice. All right, guys. Ooh, not that one. Uh, yes, there is a block in here called costume number. And I'm going to put that inside the first bubble. Whoa, I got to put this aside. This turned out long. If the costume number is one, because in the costumes, the first costume is the clownfish. So I need to say, if the costume number is one, then uh, make a score. Else, don't make a score. A robot imposter, maybe. How would we know, right? How would we know? Uh, Royola, the robot interaction language, Royola, is the first spoken language created specifically for talking to robots. No way. I've never heard of this thing. Arola language. The robot interaction language is the first spoken language created specifically for talking to robots. Interesting. I never had heard of it before. Or you just ran. C programming and the Arduino microcontroller, yes. C++. 
or A++ Angelino? Which one is better? Okay, all right. Now that we have this condition in here, if costume number is one, then I'm gonna go to variables and add these two blo this block right here twice. Change my variable by one. I'm gonna put that in here, and I'm gonna put that in here. Boom, boom, boom. Actually, let me do. Let me do that one more time. I go to variables, I grab this change block, and I put it in here and in here. Yeah, I put it in two places. One right here, and then one right here. Oh, about scratch cat. Uh, yes, in about maybe like three or four minutes, whenever I'm done with this game, I might start checking out your usernames, Mr. Bakery, Balkery. Uh, please put in your username. And friends, oh, yes, change my variable. No, change score. So make sure that you have this score in here. Select it on one of them, make it minus one. On the other one, make it plus one and that's it that's the whole whole code that we need I'm gonna press the minus button friends here right here and you all can see the entire code on my screen you can zoom you can I don't know you can check it out I'll put the link into the chat as well ball free school underscore school nice all right okay let's check this out i'm gonna just test this code right now i have really fast fishies in here if i click on the wrong fish i get a minus score i already have minus two if i click on a correct fish the finding nemo clownfish then i get a positive score all right but i want to kind of change this up a little bit and I'm gonna really, really focus in on this code right here, friends. So, so sorry, all the other code, I'm gonna put it aside and I'm gonna really focus on this code where when we click on it, something happens. And this is a bit of an advanced part of the project. First, friends, I'm, I wanna make it so that this thing fades away each time. I think I'm gonna do it this way. I could make a function. Yeah, let me just make a function. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's just do this the easy way. All right, so inside my blocks, I go and make a block and I'll call this like fade away. That's what I'm just gonna call it. Okay, and define fade away. All right, what is fade away? Fade away is when, fade away is, is not, a basketball move was it a basketball move fade away i'm not sure but this fade away means that repeats 10 times maybe repeat like 50 times and if you go to looks there's a thing called change color effect i'm gonna say ch pixelate effect by 25 because that's gonna make it so that we can we can like fade it away, like pixelate it away, which looks kind of cool. Inside my blocks, you'll find a fade away block and I'll just put those in here. So instead of saying repeat 50 this thing, I'm just putting in the fade away blocks in there, which makes it easier to code. This is how we make our own blocks in Scratch. So now if I click on the fishies, they fade away. It's cool. They pixelate away, pixelate away, pixelate away, pixelate away, pixelate away. Awesome. And that's also in indicates something in here. Instead of, hello, let's make it say, you found me. And 
in for the else part, let's say, uh, ooh, I gotta put this over here. And then fade away. Right? And for this one, let's say I'm not Nemo. Why are you clicking on me? I'm not Nemo. So friends, that's the code to kind of make some animation to make these fishies go away as we click on them so that we can't click on them again. Now I click on a green flag. Let's try this out. I'm not Nemo. I'm not Nemo. Oh. The pixelation went away. Oh. That's because we set two seconds. Sorry, guys. Let me quickly, quickly use this block instead. The say block and then the fade away. I think that's going to help. Uh, I'm in Nemo in here. I'm not Nemo in here. Oof. Sorry, I think that's gonna work a little bit better. Let's try this out. I click on a green flag. Okay, I click on this. I'm not Nemo. I'm not Nemo. Oh, I just missed Nemo. There's Nemo. I'm Nemo. Where's it? What else is Nemo? I'm Nemo. Cool. <laughs> and if you want, friends, you can also add sounds and such. Okay, okay, all right, all right. You should make the size change with the pixelation. You can also do that, yes, but I just like the whole big squares that appear. Uh, chatbot connected, HDFS assist, error code, blah, blah, blah. And so that it shrinks and pixelates, yes, you could totally do that by putting in a change size by minus five i'm gonna say i should make it super super small so that when i click on it it go boom oh that looks so cool what a great suggestion i click on it boom 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 and oh yes and I, and I can also make it so that if the score is 10 maybe the fishies go faster um but instead of doing that friends i'm gonna click on share up here and title my project Finding Nemo. This is for the live streams. On 42721. And I'll put the link into the chat as well. If you want to check out this project, you can comment on it and all that good stuff. MIT.edu slash projects. Projects slash 522. One seven three zero six zero. Boom boom boom. Let me see if that link works. Yes, and if you go to that project, you can play my game. I'm not Nemo. I'm Nemo. If you click on Nemo, you get a score. If you don't click on Nemo, you lose a score. Which is basically what this is. And friends, you know what? I want to make it more pretty and I want to give it a background. Let me quickly, quickly do that too. There is an underwater background in here that I really like. I'll use that one. Really cool. Really cool. All right. So I had some usernames I want to check out. G1, ZZY, 0, and M3. This is from Murray nothing found uh, i'm sorry if i have it wrong i might have your maybe it's not a zero it's a one gizzy maybe it's none instead g1 zzy n0 m3 nope so sorry if you were giving me murray if you were giving me a username i couldn't find it All right, let me check out Balkri School. Balkri with one R underscore school. And let's check that out. Balkri School, Undertale, Antipog. Wow, that looks super, super scary. Uh, and I, I get easily, easily scared. But Balkri School, school. Hiya, this is my school account. 
but I can still scratch. I've been on scratch for three years. If you want to check it out, friends, uh, there's a scratch cat salvage, but that seems a bit too scary for me. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to check out CSL Fiona. See, or let's see what kind of scary things Fiona has. It goes on and on. Is this Spider Man? Hey, we got this one. Finding Starfish. Let's check it out. Oh, there's a crap. Oh, Starfish. Wait, I thought this was called Finding Scar Starfish. So when I click on a starfish... Why did you click me? I'm not a starfish. What does this say? Why did you click me? You lose. Oh, I've been getting so many starfishes. Boom. How did you make 70? How is that possible? How did you just make 70 in... in it's not, you can try the Undertale one. It's not scary. It's just hard. Oh, man. It looked really scary. Bulgari. Oh, my God. Our links don't work. That's the thing. But if you put your username... You see this guy with the eyes, man. It's, it's crazy. Make sure you click three times. And then... There's like... Death in here. Ah! Oh, uh, okay. Alright, guys, I do actually need some time for this Kahoot. Yeah, I know. But I think some people checked out... Do Spider-Man? Some, some people checked out your um, account, friends. You can always put in your Scratch account name. And you can look it up just like I did. And... You can play each other's scratch projects. You can comment on it and stuff. It's pretty cool. Scratchy scratch. All right. I do have a Disney Kahoot here. This is not an easy Kahoot, although it's about Disney. And friends, if you enjoyed today's live stream, please, please, please uh, subscribe or subscribe. No, I gotta... Yes, like and subscribe this way. Like and subscribe. And if you want to register for online classes, you can go to www.codespeaklabs.com slash register. Oh, I did it wrong. Sorry, the video is mirrored. Whoa, question mark is here. Okay, let me open up the volume. Lost one brain cell is here. Yes. Not Valkyrie is here. This is the Disney Kahoot. Yes, friends. And it is not easy. Yeah. And... Yes, of course. Space Invader is here. Friends, I'll also put the link into the chat. If you want to join the game, you got to go to kahoot.it. You can see the instructions on my screen too. Go to www.kahoot.it. And uh, you got to enter the pin 212. Ooh. 212. Seven, six, six, nine. All right, Mari, Alyssa is here. The noob, noob guy is also here. Um, Angelina says, I just lost to six brain cells today watching Netflix and I almost deleted my sister's account. Interesting. Nice, thank you, Mari, for putting the code in. It's 212. Right? Seven, six, six, nine. Three is here. Okay. Other music. We got this music too. This funk. Oh. I like this music. All right, friends. I'm about to get started. I'm starting in five. I'm starting in five. 
you don't see me is here. Four. Three. Two. And one. I'm going to click on start. And let's get rid of this guy. Oh, wow. I got to move my face. Sorry, guys. Just have to move my face. Who is this Disney character? Does anybody know? If you don't know, take a wild guess, guys. I had no idea either. I actually don't know which movie this is either. Yes, this is Kala. Bonus points if you can put into the chat. What movie is this from? All right. Marie says, I so scared. You should be. This is the hardest Disney Kahoot ever. What song is Simba singing in this scene? Well, that was Tarzan? Oh, I feel like I should know that. Uh, yes, this is definitely Circle of Life, friends. I think the correct answer here is green, Circle of Life. If you believe me, click on the green. Uh, if you don't believe me, click on something else. Boom! Yes, I got a lot of you. It's not the circle of life. It is, I just can't wait to be king. Oh, no, you got that right, huh? Not Valkyrie, though. Valkyrie did not get that right. Because not Valkyrie got that right. All right. In this scene from The Little Mermaid, Ariel is brushing her hair with a fork. Why? Why? Why would she brush her hair with a fork? Is it because Flander told her it was used by humans to brush their hair? Or she needed to fix her hair and couldn't find a hairbrush? You have five seconds. Four, three, two. If you don't know, take a guess. Scuttle told her it was used by humans to brush their hair. I think, friends, the rest of the questions is going to be really, really fast. Interesting. Who said, hey, do me a favor, grab my butt. Ah, that feels better. Again, friends, you don't have much time. You got to click right away. That's all right, Mr. Balkari. I'll see you next time. Every week we'll hear on Tuesdays and next week is going to be about Star Wars, you guys. Next week will be about a Star Wars project. Yes, and the correct answer was Olaf, the snow dude. His butt fell. Somebody had to grab it. Next week, uh, we're going to do those, you know, those letters that go up or down in Star Wars intros. We're going to do those letter animation where the start letters are coming down from the sky, from the universe. Okay, what did Merida want the spell to do? Oh, you guys like Star Wars? Awesome, awesome. I was really depending on that. Yes, you know that intro at Star Wars where they tell the story of what was going on and these letters are coming down? And it looks really dramatic. You can make the, your own kind of story, Star Wars story of these things. Letters coming down and explaining a dramatic story about yourself. Is this easy? What did Merida want the spell to do? Yes, change her mother. Oh, wow. question mark. Just went up a lot of score. Okay. What U.S. city is the setting of the princess and the frog inspired by? I really want to see this movie. I haven't seen this movie yet. The princess and the frog. Mm. 
Yeah, the Battlefront games are really good. If you don't know, take a guess. And I want to get the Star Wars music into the to, to next week's project. But I'm afraid of copyright, you guys. I'm going to say it. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going to happen if I use Star Wars music in the project. But I really want to. That's right. It takes place or inspired by the city New Orleans. Nice. Ryan is here and lost one brain cell is on fire. Okay. What's Rapunzel's weapon? The the photo gives a good hint. Yeah. I don't win any money from YouTube, uh, Angelino, yeah. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe. It's kind of nice to fly under the radar of the algorithms. But if they want to find you, they'll find you. A frying pan, yes. I thought it was her hair too. But in the photo, I, th I guess in the movie, she uses a frying pan. All right. Ryan is climbing up to third place. Lost one brain cell is still on fire in first place. Which famous princess attends Elsa's coronation ceremony in Frozen? You still don't win money. Yes, I don't. But the goal is to become rich, uh, Angelino. That's the goal of this channel. And also to do some coding. No! I have no idea. I don't think I've seen Frozen either. Rapunzel! Yes, Rapunzel was there. I guess is, that's Rapunzel? I'm not sure. Alyssa knew that one. <laughs> Great job, Alyssa. Alright, how many bites of the red apple did Snow White take? What, well, Sienna, was that a wrong answer? Was it not Rapunzel? It was Rapunzel? No, four. Oh, yes. Yeah, I, I agree. This should be four because one bite or two bites is just not enough. Three, maybe. You gotta have four bites at least to get the spell and... Oh no, it was one. Yes, only one bite is needed uh, for the spell to work on the apple. So that Snow White goes into a deep sleep. Alright, next question. Which Disney princess movie takes place in the United States? There was another question related to this. Which Disney princess movie takes place in the United States? Specifically, New Orleans. I agree, Sienna. This, this is uh, very easy. Cinderella, of course, takes place in the United States. Uh, 
And it's okay if you didn't join the Kahoot. I appreciate your responses in the chat. Yes, Cinderella. This is completely Cinderella, you guys. Nope, it is the princess and the frog that took place in the United States. Friends, we're out of time, so I'm going to end the game right there. Let's check out the podium. Third place goes to Space Invader. Congratulations, Space Invader. Second place is Lost One Brain Cell. Whoa, really? And then first place is Alyssa. Whoa! All right, fourth place is Ryan, and fifth place is question mark. That was... Yes! They deserve to be worshipped. Sienna, that was, that was amazing. Alyssa came from like fifth place, and fourth, and a third. I thought Lost One Brain Cell was gonna win that one. Actually, in the beginning for a while, Space Invader was in the first place, but that all changed. And just with two points, guys, I wanna, I wanna show you all this. Just with two points, Alyssa edged into the first place. Bad worshipping. I, I don't know how to. Sienna, maybe I can learn to, to worship better, but I do worship. And the most difficult song? I mean, the, the most difficult question was this one. What song is Simba singing in the sea? I get the feeling that you guys might have not seen Lion King. Oh, interesting. All right, everyone. Akuna Matata. <laughs> uh, all right, everyone. That was an amazing game. Thank you so much for joining in. As I said, next week we'll do a Star Wars themed project on Scratch. And if you can, please, everyone, like this video by clicking on the like button down below and click on the subscribe button if you can, please, so that we can make more videos like this one. GG, that was a great game. That was an awesome game. Alright everyone, bye bye! Akuna Matata! Bye! Of course, Sienna! <laughs>